This is the MSI GeForce 1080 Gaming X GPU featuring the TwinFrosa 6 cooling solution. It has been refined and tweaked. We've got deeper crimson accents, better fans, new thermal paste. The heat pipe has been tweaked. For power delivery, we have six and eight pin and the MSI Dragon backplate. For the I.O. we have single DVI, dual HDMI and dual display port. A fine looking card, so let's get to the benchmarks. So then let's wrap up all these findings and deliver my thoughts. As always, I can go off into a little bit more detail in my written review, so find that link somewhere. For now, in short, it is a very impressive card visually. The new Twin Frozer 6 does look pretty much identical when you put it side by side with the Twin Frozer 5. Now, there's nothing wrong with that because quite frankly the design there is what appealed to the masses it's just been ever so slightly tweaked with the changes to the crimson red the rgb led light i'm not a massive fan of it it feels if i'm honest it feels like msi have just thrown that in at the last second um it's not been very well thought out it looks absolutely brilliant with the white LED over the wording MSI and then you've got the red underglow on the other portion of the card. That alone looks fine. The decision to tweak that white LED and allow you to change it just doesn't make a great deal of sense to me. Now thankfully you can disable the red portion um, but that essentially takes away half of the overall lighting effect. It just isn't that great frankly. Um, I don't know the exact details of it yet, but as I'm putting this video together, I've seen snippets of a more true RGB, should we say, optimized card hitting the market soon where it, it can do RGB a lot better than this. So that isn't great, but you can push that to one side because let's face it, RGB isn't for everyone. Now, the cooling system has been and continues to be something that really impresses me. The noise level obviously up to 60 degrees is zero. And then once that fan kicks in, honestly, during the testing, I had to look down and make sure it was even spinning because I heard nothing. It's under 70 degrees, the whole portion of my testing, which is extreme uh, Fermark testing up at 4K with AA and everything. I'm really trying to torture the card and it just did not get that hot. So the cooling system is great. Now the overclocking, Oh, I could, this could turn into a whole other video, so keeping it short and concise. Overclocking on the new uh, Pascal stuff is odd. Um, so you can't complain. What you need to consider first is the card is pre-overclocked for you. Uh, you've got three profiles that you can configure with the app, and then you can manually overclock. Now, each card will be different to the next, but my sample was quite giving from the perspective of the core and especially the memory. I'm quite surprised MSI hasn't turned that RAM up a little bit more. Um, and I'll just put the numbers up now as we're talking in case you've skipped to the conclusion. The memory was much more giving. In real world performance, there's definitely some gains to be had there. So visuals are great, overclocking potential is there and it's overly done for you for the most part. Uh, overall performance of the 1070. Now it's about 470 pounds here in the UK. I can't speak for other regions, check below. If you're not up to date, there'll be a link there, but there's no point in complaining about the overall pricing of the cards. This is the situation that we are in. What I need to do is to consider this card against what's on the market right now. And I think it's very fair considering what it offers out of the box. Now, pricing will adjust over the next few weeks. Um, but in terms of this card and the bigger picture, I think it's, it's good value. So yes, this is a card obviously destined for 
maxed out 1440p higher settings 4k it it's there but it, because the performance tier is so close close to 980 ti you've obviously got the same sort of restrictions you haven't got any extra memory here um, so it's not even that you're going to run out of vram or different things but the 4k situation is still a little bit yes you can no you can't it's title dependent it's setting dependent if you compromise and adjust and tweak you can get some 4k for most titles here um, but if you really really need it you need to look up higher at the 1080 but as is i'm really pleased with the card it's been a pleasure to work with it's, it's definitely highly recommended so that's going to do it for this video i'll see you guys in my next one and thanks to msi for sending this sample out